Hi, I'm Fabian and I'm from Switzerland and I studied in Discover English for 12 months. Hi, this is Paul Lee and I'm from Taiwan and I studied at Discover English for more than 10 months. I can certainly say that I could improve my English here, which I never thought like how I could improve it. And furthermore, I made like one of the best friendships I could like ever imagine to make. Like I met so many nice people. This, for example, Polly from Taiwan. You just you meet people from all over. Let's just say it's more about like cultural experience. Like I've got a lot of chance to make like people from different part of the world, like yeah. South Americans, and we really have different lifestyles. Like, yeah. and I think like. Like studying in Discover English helped me to build up the ability to think in English. Yeah. Yeah, and when I speak English, I think differently Same. than yeah, yeah. speaking in Mandarin. Yeah, and especially like the teachers here in Discover English helped me like with, I don't know, like just shaping my English skills kind of because I I had them already, but like not in a not in a professional way. Yeah. I'd say. Um, so in my time in Discover, I did three Cambridge courses, the FCE, the, the and then the CAE, the Advanced, and I tried to pass the proficiency as well, the CPE. And what is different about the Cambridge courses is just that you like you prepare for an exam, like you're gonna have like your international mm -hmm. exam, which is gonna like be there for you forever. Like, like you, you're facing like a really tough exam, but you got a right track. Yeah. to you know push yourself like yeah, a bit step you, like, by step the, yeah. towards the goal you're aiming yeah and especially as well because like the teachers they you're on a level where you can have like conversations like you can have discussions like you can argue about things like about cases mm. like, but like you talk about everything like yeah. you talk about natural like i don't know like the climate change for yeah, example like how and... some problems or issues affect the world or the society and like it's I even improved, I think, my knowledge of general things, like yeah. not only English. Like, surprisingly, like after a few months, I think in CAE, like once I heard the radio, I think it's ABC and News, mm -hmm. and surprisingly, I could understand yeah. like I when even, I'm taking CAE. I think I even realized while I was doing the course that I suddenly like when I listened to old songs again, I used to listen to. I suddenly realized I was like, oh my god, what, that song is about that. Like mm. because I just listened to them when I was younger, but I obviously couldn't speak English, so suddenly everything made sense, and I was like, oh wow, I can understand almost. Yeah, Backstreet Boys. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no Backstreet Boys. Oh uh, yeah, because yeah, sure. people use those things like they say it, and like you yeah. can use it in conversations, like, and suddenly like someone's like, oh wow, where, where did you pick that up? And I'm like, yeah, Cambridge. Yeah. So, yeah. I have to say, I before I came to Australia, I wasn't sure whether I want to go to Sydney to make a language course there or to Melbourne. But now, having visited Sydney as well, I can say I'm so glad that I chose Melbourne. Not not to say that Sydney is a bad city, I don't understand it. <laughs> but I don't know, Melbourne is just like I fell in love with it. Yeah. Lots of things going on like every day and people. Because uh, of like it's really multicultural, so yes. like people from everywhere like gathering in one city, and we all bring our own values or own experience to Melbourne. It's also the Melburnians are like really friendly people, yeah. so it's like you're on a tram and you just like you just start talking to people and like yeah. people just like I remember being lost in the first week and mm. suddenly I was in a discussion like with five people and everyone was like arguing which would be the fastest way to get me like where I wanted to go and yeah. it's just everyone like tries to help you and they're interested of like where you come from why are you here like they don't fake it and they, they really like they yeah. I don't know it's just yeah, I really enjoy talking to Melbourneers as well. Yeah. They're really chill and laid back. Yeah. Yeah, so we love beers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. Well, yeah, beers, coffee, Melbourne. Yeah. <laughs> beers and coffee. Like, and now we're why you can have like the Australian nature, kangaroos, yeah, rolling. Yeah, I, like I take the train 50 minutes and I see the really big <laughs> kangaroos. Yeah. Uh, like last time I was like, wow, what's up? Whoa, this? kangaroos and yeah. koalas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So if you feel the urge to improve your English skills or just get some English skills and you prefer or you would prefer to do that in Australia, you should definitely come to Melbourne, Defo. Yeah, Defo. <laughs> and Melbourne won't disappoint you. 
and this is after blood lived a magic place and come here and see us mates and chicks are yeah, looking forward to seeing you here <laughs> discover discover bye, bye. <laughs>